You like that though? I love that. Hey Arnold, that's the coolest guy I ever made. Dude wore a kilt, had a pet pig, and had a flip down. It's underrated. Couch. It's, it's an so good. Show. We should talk about it for one episode. Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Tyler. Retro. Retro Rick. Retro Rick. Yeah. Just retro. Quit the, with all the formalities, man. <laughs> We're gonna Come know on. each other. I can use you by your first fake yeah. name. Fake first name. Oh man. Oh man. What if your parents had named you Retro as your first name? I asked for it. They no. You were you came out and the doctor was like it's a boy and you're like can I have retro and they were yeah. like no I've loved nostalgia since the beginning let's name since him Rick after Walking Dead <laughs> I never which hadn't come out yet you never watched it Mm-mm. do you have people that go Rick does that have to do with retro stuff it does something? it's a throwback to 2012 no oh. because they move it's slow. that old well yeah but it also moves slower in their timeline but oh. yeah it's that old it's like golly I didn't know it was that old it's crazy you're crazy hey you're at the 90s win podcast with Rick and Tyler. And uh, we would, I think this will call this our inaugural episode because we recorded two episodes, one on Surge, the mm-hmm. famous drink, and another one on Salute Your Shorts, the favorite famous show on saluting shorts. Mm-hmm. And uh, we recorded them about a year ago. Um, don't listen to them. We've got them up just so that we get the podcast up, but don't listen to them. Audio is rough. trash. It's a little rough. Hot trash audio, so do not listen to that. Okay, so but what are we talking about today, Rick? I'm gonna stop talking because they don't know me; they know you. We're gonna start with Disney live action remakes. Ooh, that's good. What's the last one you saw? The last one I saw was Beauty and the Beast. You? Oh wow! So you haven't seen Aladdin? Mm-mm. No, Dude. I haven't seen it yet. Okay, well tell me Beauty and the Beast. And what 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 were your thoughts going into it? How much hope did you have for it? Well, so I mean, there's the other ones too. There's like the Dalmatian, 101 Dalmatians. Yeah, those, but those are like. Yeah, with those like two thousands though. That's like yeah. early two thousands. Yeah, and then there's the Jungle Book. I think Jungle Book is um, recent. That's gonna be like they're doing the the Lion King is like mm-hmm. the animals that talk. And so it's like, do you go Homeward Bound where you're just like a voiceover, but the dogs just look around, or do you make their mouth move? That like was like that was just like a very like specific time frame when that was happening. When that was allowed. Yeah, I mean it was like that. What was a was Milo and Otis like that too? Yes. Yeah, it was just like they would move around and you'd have the voiceover, which is like. How how like awesome is that for a film or like a director or like oh, a yeah. filmmaker? They're like, all we have to do is literally just have the yeah, just animals snap. run around and actually we're writing it as they as it goes because yeah. it's like whatever they do, we'll just, we we'll can just change say it. that's what's happening. And now we have to put all this work into like CGI where their mouths move yeah. and they have to walk and do all this other stuff and that the voice actors can't change what they're saying. Uh-huh. Do they record the voice actors first or the do the CGI? No they idea. have to have a script before they start, but you know some of them are like the way I've kind of thought that they would do it, the way we do, it, we would do it if we were filming it, or the way I would do it as a director, Rick, mm-hmm. is I would say, okay, say it the way it is on the script, and then ad lib a little bit, and then if it's really good, we can go in and change it. But we need to have the base one because that's what the CGI people are working on. Sure. Yeah, Jeff, the CGI guy. Makes sense. Bill Nye, the CGI guy. That's a pretty sick name. You Makes think Bill sense. Nye? So, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, what Beauty did you think going into it? Uh, you know, I didn't even really want to watch it. That was like my wife wanted to watch it. Okay. And she she is like a huge beauty. Like she's she walks around this house all the time singing all the songs. She just loves it. Also, she's an Emma Watson fan because she's a Harry Potter fan. Yeah, she loves so she it's does the Hermione love, thing. She does like, love Emma Watson. So as she should. I think she, she felt pretty good about it and we watched it and it was it was great. I thought it was good. I mean it sounds um, like you had low expectations going in. I, like almost had, I had like it. literally, I was so neutral that I didn't have any. Yeah. I didn't have any because I didn't really care to watch it or not watch it. Yeah. But I thought it was really good and we watched it and we probably watched that movie 10 times since since it came out. But, Does Ro um, like it? Ro's a big fan? Ro's, he likes just a goofy movie. That's, uh, specifically that's his main thing. He'll right dance now. to it. That's He'll good dance. Stuff. He dances to that movie. But I thought it was good. Yeah. I thought the songs were there. Um, I don't know. How about you? Uh, I, my last one, I liked it. I, I was good with it. I thought it was very well done. I, I always have any remake, and even sequels for that matter, I have low expectations, more with remakes, because anytime you adapt it, like something that's that legendary, oh, yeah. you, you just, you. I have a feeling that they're not going to be able to make the snuff smell good. You know what I mean? And so like when I went to Aladdin, and Aladdin like even was worse than most because... Or I say, going into it, I thought it was going to be worse because it got bashed hard on the internet. You know, whenever Will Smith showed up and he was blue and everybody was, like, making fun of him. Well, he was kind of goofy. Wasn't he kind of goofy? Well, he was like, oh, what's up, guys? And he, like, showed up and you're like Robin Williams who was like... Yeah, how can you even compare? It's amazing. And I'm not going to lie. Like, we took our kids to see it and we were on vacation. 
It was incredible, man. Really? It was so good. I mean, I've heard it's great. It was so good. And it was like, they kept the parts they needed to keep, and then they added a couple things. They made Jasmine not like a prop. They made her uh-huh. an actual character, an actual person. Um, so that was really cool. And I just, I love whenever they keep the stuff that's important. They're, they're not stuck to it. So like, there were a couple jokes that they added in, little things they did. Uh, but then they still kind of threw you back to like, your throwback. So it's like, okay. I think if you're like using script by like word by word script, and you're trying to just replicate what Ron Williams did or whoever, you're going to and not be have disappointed. Ron Williams. Exactly, you're yeah. going to be disappointed. Yeah, you're going to be disappointed. I did see, it. I did see something. I, I almost made an episode on on the new Aladdin, like a five things you didn't know. There was one that I thought was super interesting. Oh, the the guy that played that played Aladdin, he was born. He was born the same year the first movie came out. The year that it came out. Isn't that weird? That's wild. I think the girl was, too, uh, that played Jasmine. Man. Which I don't know either of them. Have they been in a lot of stuff? I don't remember anything I've seen them in. But, I mean, there's also... The genie, he was played by an up-and-coming actor, Will Smith. Yeah. He's (laughs) brand new to the game. He seems like he's going to be a good actor. I thought he was a rapper. Well, he was. He's a rapper turned actor. And Mm. so, he he just left Jazzy. Jazzy Jeff. Mm. How do how do you feel about Will Smith vlogging? By the way, have you watched any of them? I've watched. I think I've watched. I think I watched two of them. Yeah. What do you think? I think it's. I think it's super interesting because him, yeah. Jack Black is another one that's doing mm-hmm. it. Right. Right. It has it, are funny. It's funny that that these people have like. Well, I think it's smart that they've seen. Very like, smart. Okay, this is where this is where things are going. Yep. I mean, who who would think? Like, if you honestly, if you were super wealthy and you. As I am, of course. I'm wearing a Sonic jersey. Dude, I this literally really have a thousand dollars in the bank. Yeah, I'm so free and rich. You're so awesome. Actually, Speaking, I don't even think I have a thousand. Can I? Can I? Can I side rail for just a second? Mm-hmm. I bought this jersey at a like big church yard sale thing. They told me they tried to sell it to me for forty dollars and said that it was a game worn jersey. It has it a is, champion like it is the cheapest version of a jersey you can get. Game worn by their they said it was year old. Game worn by Sean Kemp is what they said, and I go, yeah, it's not. They're little, little, I go, it's not game worn. Like, and it's it's short on me. I'm six foot tall. Sean Kemp is what six seven ish, six yeah. eight. It would Roughly. have been like a a midriff shirt, which would have been very nineties of them to have a midriff basketball player shirt. I want to tell you a story, another side rail about these jerseys. Tell me. How many of these did you have growing up? I had one, Michael Jordan. I brought it from fifth grade, fourth grade. You only had okay, so you got that, and you only like had I that said, one? I, I'm not inherently rich. My dad didn't invent Google. Well, here's the thing. This is this is how I'm not rich. This is how I'm not rich. But I love these. So when I was a kid, um, there was this like, I don't know, not dollar store, like Fred's. You know what Fred's is? Yeah, it's like I Fred's closed yeah. down in Benton. I don't know what kind of store it is. It's like they get product from other stores and like bulk product and whatever. But they had these jerseys. When I was a kid, they had these jerseys, and they were $14. Yeah. So I had, like, 10 of them because there were 14 because they were misprinted. So, like, one thing, like, one one of the zeros would be missing. Or or Kemp would be gone. Or Sonics would be gone. One Ooh. thing would be gone. And, like, I had 10 of them because I That's thought incredible. it was cool. Of course. I would oh, no. I would prefer that. I had, my my favorite one was a penny one. I had a penny. Penny Hardaway. One. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is a whole other episode. We're just gonna splice this whole up episode. Until... We should. No, <laughs> we jerseys. should get back. You were talking. You were saying that good thing about that stuff that we forgot to to talk about. What was it? Oh, you were talking about the pizza. Okay, Dumbo. Did you see that one? That one just came out. Did you watch Dumbo? I have a one year old. <laughs> So no, I have missed so. There's a ton of great movies out right now. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen Toy Story. I haven't seen Toy Story. My family went and saw it. I didn't get to go see it. I had to work, and so. But Dumbo, I saw parts of it. I was pretty impressed. Mm. It was pretty good. Um, that's the thing. Like, I think they're figuring out because there's been some bad live action movies. Uh, by the way, coming out with like was it the Jungle Book, and then it was followed up with another Jungle Jungle Book. Weren't there like two Jungle Books back to back? Yes, and there's another. There was there was another Jungle Book live action. It was a live action one, and it had the Johnny Tsunami kid in it. Johnny Tsunami, what is that? It's a 1998 Disney Channel original movie. Oh so good. It came out right, right after Brink. I think so hot right now. Brink. Now that one I can get behind. Brink. Better rollerblade movie. Brink or Airborne? Airborne. Airborne. I, it's hard for me to say that. It's but easy I love for both. me to say Airborne's better. Did you grow up on Brink? Yeah. But Airborne's better. I grew up more on Airborne and Rad were my two movies. So I bet like undercover, eighty ninety movie because Rad was find, the 80s. I didn't find Airborne until I was a little bit, a little bit 
a little bit older. Yeah, you, oh, you, you had to grow up a little to yeah. be ready for it, you know? Oh, we were saying about vlogging. Yeah, so what I... We're going all over the place. So what I was saying... That's good. It's our first podcast. I think... I think it's cool that they're doing that because it's like, would you do that? If you were really wealthy and you had a successful career, you would think you would just focus on that. But, like, they are seeing where things are going. Mm -hmm. And so many... I mean, how quickly do they grow as a channel? Because they have they got a brand such, already. Yeah, it, they've already got a brand. I mean, they probably they probably hit a hundred thousand and then do a million within the first what couple months. Yeah, e easy. Will Smith hit it pretty quick. He's they. The problem is you kind of plateau until you start doing things as a branch out. So Will Smith's really smart about it. He's been collaborating with a lot of popular YouTubers because here's the thing. He it's like if you and I wanted to reach out to like Casey Neistat or Peter McKinnon, some of these big time YouTubers. They're not going to even see our message, much less want us to collaborate because we don't bring any value to them. Sure. However, if you're like an athlete or an actor or somebody who's already established that everybody already knows about, you um, have something that they would value or you have something um, that, that, like, if I'm a famous YouTuber, like, that in its own right is really cool. But then if you can meet Will Smith, heck yeah, I'm going to do yeah. that every time. Like, why would you not bring them into it? Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, well, and I, and I think it's interesting, too. I don't know if this is... It kind of hit me probably. I got late to the game on Instagram. Like I didn't mm -hmm. get Instagram until like no like 2014, 2013. Yeah. I, I've, I've always been pretty stubborn. Like I got I've always 12. been like I only use this one thing. You know how I am. Yeah. Like he You're I still just, using Microsoft Word, which I, I'm, no, I just got I'm off Microsoft Word. I'm so sorry. proud of you, Rick. And I goodness. use Firefox. Is it? That's yeah. disgusting. I saw it yesterday. I tried to delete it. Like you really don't delete it. I was trying to delete it off I, your computer. I, it's, when that's you that's how I am. I use the same thing and I'm like I have to use I don't nostalgia I don't know what it is it's like I nostalgia use for your browser <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad Netscape shut itself down so you didn't have to oh, stick I was with so it. mad that day oh, no but what okay so I got a little I was a little late to Instagram but I remember when I first got on there I started realizing okay I don't I can follow more than just Tyler like the people that I know mm -hmm. and I started like following like I don't know who it was. I think it was some athlete. And I was like, this is weird. I'm like literally seeing their life, their life right now. And yeah. then that's, I mean, it just has changed so much. So much. It's you like have... you feel like you're a part of that person and yeah. you're not at all. <laughs> such access to the world. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you see where um, they the, the, a New York judge has passed a law that Donald Trump can't block people on Twitter mm -hmm. as president? Like it, it breaks some sort of like, um, it's a big I don't deal. Know. Yeah. I mean, it's just wild that like, because of his job, he can't. Sir, block this is people. family friendly and. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Free. I didn't say anything negative. I was just say a state of law. My bad. My bad. I was nothing positive or negative. You have your views. Uh, Cinderella, the new Cinderella movie. Back, back to what we were. Oh talking no, no, about. no, I've seen that one. You have? I have. Yeah. What'd you think of it? I thought it was good too. So good. I thought it had a really good story in itself. Like, what was it? Uh, be kind. Mm -hmm. Be kind. Be be brave. In that, what was Gotta it? Gotta have a message, man. Gotta be have kind. A be here. It's it was so good in its own right. As a movie, and that actress, she did incredible. Yeah, in she it. was in. Uh, wasn't she in Willy, one of the Willy Wonka movies? Mm, like the newer ones. I didn't watch the new Willy Wonka. It terrifies me. My kids love the songs from it. Augustus Gloop or Group or whatever that new song. It says, "Have courage and be kind." Great quote. Um, we said I've said that to my Gotta kids. Learn. I always say, uh, "Be kind" is one of the five things I tell my kids before they go to school. I'm like yeah. it's one of them because it's like. Be kind. It's so good. And the way they deliver it, gosh, it was so well done. Do you do you think they do you think they need to do all of these though? Like they're like at yes. this point they're doing everything. I mean, almost everything. Yeah. Like there's some that I mean how they're gonna do Bambi or how they're gonna do I mean, just the same know? way they do Lion King. Just just got a really sad in yeah, beginning. That's true. It's like up for deer. I mean that's the true. beginning. That's the thing though. They've got a brand. They've I mean, you come out with Lion King versus oh, we're gonna make Disney's like Okay, so we can either remake The Lion King, which already has like a, I say I would say beyond a cult following. It's like, it's one of the most classic movies, classic cartoons in the history of the of time. Like we can remake that and guarantee we're gonna make minimum two hundred million dollars, or say minimum a hundred million or so dollars. Or we can be like, let's come out with a new movie called you know, the 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 Bear Cub Friends. You know what I mean? And it's like you have no idea if it's gonna do well. And so it's like, why would you not? use something that's already established and you're going to guarantee you're going to make some money. I mean, yes, you could do public criticism because, like, they redid, um, let's see, Alice Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. That one got a lot of flack because it apparently wasn't very good. Um, they've done a ton that... I'm, like, so dumb. She was, not, she was not in... <laughs> she was in Downton Abbey. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, oh, definitely. Bad. Uh, I watched, we watch that all the time. Hello, I'm from Downton Abbey. 
Come on, I saw Is that how watched. Downton Abbey? I've never watched. Ellen watches it. Yeah, my wife watches Amanda, every. Apparently, I don't watch anything. My wife watches everything. Yeah, same here. Amanda watches all the shows, like, and I watch nothing. So, so all right. I mean, I, I think. I mean, I think. Why not? It, it is. It's. It's tough. I think it's. It's tougher for our generation, the people that yeah. grew up, because I mean, a lot of these movies that we're talking about, they were all in, like a pretty tight, a tight span. Yeah. Like Aladdin, Lion King, um, Beauty and the Beast. Th- those were all like within probably two or three years of each mm-hmm. other, weren't they? Like, yeah. Ninety two, ninety three, ninety four. Yep. Um, and that's how they're releasing them now, but. No, I mean, I, th- I think they're good. I I want to see them. I wish I didn't. No, not I don't. Yeah, wish it's kind of. You were like, hey, let's make our kid. first podcast about live action movies, and you haven't seen any of them, man. So, I, well, I've seen Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast. That's better. Wow. Than, that's actually better. Two than out of. I mean, you're doing great, man. You're doing awesome. It's good. It's yeah. so great. Here, question: Do you think that there are going to be any disgruntled Disney employees that try to incorporate curse words or inappropriate sayings into these live action movies? Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. Like. Aladdin, you could put on closed caption. Whenever he's getting on the magic carpet, you can see something about teenagers. Is that real? I always heard it was. And then like, oh, the wildebeest, and you see the dust fly up, like and it says like making level one up, curse yeah. word. But it was like a that was a thing when we were kids. You remember hearing that? Yeah. And people oh, were like, parents, don't let your kids watch Aladdin because there's a subtitle in one part that is sub subtly getting into their brains. Or those, or those dang VHS cases, man. What about them? The Little Mermaid case. I'm so scared. What is it? Well, again, family friendly, but. There's the Little Mermaid VHS case and the original case. Part of the castle looked like uh, inappropriate. Uh, inappropriate, and it looked like inappropriate. Well, and then it, they and then they and then they switched it. And now supposedly those VHS cases are worth a lot of money. They're not, but people say that they are. Really? Mm-hmm. Do you have any of them? I don't have that one. Mm-hmm. Wow, not great. Unusual. But I do have this. I, was, <laughs> I do have uh, a Lion King. I just got this. I. Uh, I got a Lion King VHS and I opened it up a couple of days ago and inside of it is a free pizza from Pizza Hut expired in 1994. I was like, it's because the movie's coming out, I should like put it on Twitter and be like, I demand my, my free, free pizza. pizza. What Disney, is, make this it. right. Do it. It's Pizza Hut. I'm trying to think like Wendy's, they'll step up and be like, okay, you can have it because like Wendy's is really good at social media. Yeah, but I, don't I feel pizza like if is. I got some people behind me on this. Yeah, I mean, you just got to get people like you got to organize yeah. the militia. You know what I I'm saying? The pizza. retro Rick militia, if you will. You got it, man. Just, I thought that was. You got swipe up. I bet you can get people to do it. You got swipe up on Let's Instagram. See. I bet you can get everybody organized. What else is there? Are there Christopher others? Robin. There's Does that count? Movies? Did you watch Christopher Robin? No, you didn't watch it. I can already answer it. I like Jungle Book. Jungle Book was real. I saw it in theaters with the kids, and it was so well done. I liked it a lot too. Um, I'll tell you this: anytime there are animals involved. I think of like Milo and Otis, Homeward Bound, where it's just going to be, or like Snow Buddies or Puppies or whatever it's called, like one of these trash Cuba Gooden Jr. movies post uh, mm-hmm. post Jerry Maguire, where it's like, oh, these are all the actors I knew from like those two big movies in the mid '90s that can't get real work anymore, yeah. and they're in these like animal remakes with what's his name from Camp Nowhere. Uh, Christopher Lloyd. Christopher Lloyd. Yeah, he's in, like all of them. He's the bad guy in like every B level, C C or D level movie for kids. I like Christopher Lloyd. Oh, he would have had a good run. Page Master, man. Uh, apple. Uh, what you got there, sport? <laughs> uh, apple. My friends and I used to say that to each other all the time. It was great. I love. Okay, question. Whenever you quote like old movies, do you ever get people that just like look at you and do you just explain it or do you just move on? Yeah, I no, I don't. I don't. I don't explain it as much anymore. I I have a friend that I I've learned from. And he's hilarious. He like literally will quote something or he will say something so off the wall and people don't understand at all and he'll walk away. Mm-hmm. And I was always like, how so do you good. how do you do that? He's like, I don't care. I, just, don't I care. think it's hilarious that they don't know. So and I'm like. Yeah, so I've like incorporated that in my life. I'm, I'm proud like, of you. Dude, that's man. good. Look so I, you, no, man. I don't explain anymore. I just say it, and I like I just act real confident. It's so good. Just walk off, you know. So h- how do you feel about like that was good? I'm gonna transition very smoothly into a question um, with because <laughs> <laughs> the new the real the they've talked about like they're releasing the uh, Little Mermaid, but yeah. the uh, the Ariel is going to be African American. How do you feel about that? I have no idea why that's even being questioned or why talked is it still about. a thing? I don't know. I don't why do people understand. still get mad? Okay, it's because the it's, internet. Is, oh well, no. What I, what I think, what I think, it's it, it's not even to do with any of that. I think it's just because it's like Ariel was so specific. She was a fair skinned, red headed, red headed person. Is well, that like that's like how could you how could you change that? I guess I don't. And know. They're getting mad about it. It's like whenever Donald Glover was potentially going to be Spider Man like several mm-hmm. years ago, and everybody got mad. 
and then the internet, like half the internet, was like, "Yes, Donald Glover is like the greatest actor of our generation." Sure. And then, all right, are you tired of the podcast? No, no, we lost Retro Rick. Welcome to the '90s win with Tyler. I'm no, not keep going. Oh, no, he's back. This for a little bit. So playing with your Little Mermaid thing that if you're on the podcast, you're not gonna be able to see this. But oh, I can. They can. They can smell it. It's one of those things where you float the ball and it falls. Hey, down. y'all! No, I was gonna to say that. that. I was gonna have to say you're gonna have to guess it. But I think that's what we're working with. I mean, it's just like, listen, she's redheaded. This needs to stay that way. I don't care. I mean, I, I hope. Are you offended by? Oh, absolutely not. Um, I actually, I kind of love it because it allow. I think we should. You know, we all have our FBI agent that's like monitoring us. I think that we just sort these people that are getting really mad about it into like this box and then we know like we know where they belong in America and then in like five years we just say okay mandatory moving and they all have to move to a certain state and live together and we just put some walls up around it and it's Wyoming that's where we're going to move them that's great I think it's a good idea man it's a good idea no I'm not I'm not bothered by it by okay. it at all How, see Lion King's coming out soon though right yeah. Lion King's like in a, in a week okay As this should be when this thing drops if we drop it right drop it like it's hot remember that same dog yeah it's my ringtone on my phone it was my, that was my ringtone on my phone for two straight years. On it was called a Pantech. Yeah. It was this big. It was, uh, yeah. You can't see it. Okay. It was this big, and it was a flip phone. It was the smallest phone in the world. Yeah. And it was um, drop it like it's hot for two straight years, so and good. then following that for three years straight, it was give it away, give it away, give, give it, it away, away give it away now. So good. So. Yeah, I know that song. Yeah, because we I talked about it on mine and Neil's podcast, and you you commented. You have another podcast? Not not. You're the only one that I care about. I'll tell you that right now. That's that's on the record. Um, I'm so sorry, man. What if you just got that coffee and just like threw it in my face? <laughs> Poured it on, on the computer. How you like this podcast and ruined my computer? Um, I re- I remember I said that on there, and you comment on that, said that it was your ringtone. That was because you used to do custom ringtones for all your friends, mm. so you know who it was. Like when your mom calls, it's like a certain song. And uh, and I everybody like I had like two or three rando people in my life that I was friends with that made that my song, and so I was like I don't know what they're trying to tell me. It was either that or the uh, I believe in a thing called love. That's the love of the life. Here, here's my question for you. Why why do you think that was cool to have a ringtone? Like yeah, at, at a certain point, we had nothing like that, no. and then all of a sudden it was like Bluetooth tooth technology took over, and it was like. And we were like, now you have something, you have a song, let's splice it, let's cut it to where it's, yep. real, where it's really bumping, yep. and that will be our ringtone. What? Why is that not a thing anymore? Like, what, why does it Now it's away? like, people get offended if you actually have a, a phone, if you if your phone makes a sound, people get aggravated. Like, everybody's on vibrate on their phone. Like, know, if you have I'm a ringtone, saying... you're like a, a, you're a serial killer. There's no question. It just, it, it sometimes it frustrates me because it's like... It's still not, still not. It's a cool thing still. It's like it's not. I think so. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's not. Do you remember when people used to leave songs on their voicemails? Dude, (laughs) tell me, tell me, tell me your song that you had on your voicemail. I don't know. Okay, no, I didn't have a song, a a specific song. It is a song, but I had. You remember on Big Daddy when it goes? uh, It it's it's one of the Van Halen songs. It jump, might as well leave a message. And then, and then he says, "Leave a message." Yeah. I literally just recorded off of my DVD, and I like put it up to the up to the TV screen and recorded that little section. That was my my voice. Not bad. That's good. See, that's pretty clean. Mine was a lot more annoying. Are you ready? So it was like my personal goal to aggravate my dad because he always leaves me a voice. He still does. Leaves me a voicemail to this day, and uh, he always left me a voicemail. And I would always do stuff to try to get him to make a comment to me in real life or to be aggravated on the phone because he'll stick it out. I, do you remember there was a second Matrix movie? It was Matrix Reloaded, mm-hmm. I think. There is a song in there when he's fighting those two dudes, um, and it's like, dun, dun, that's like an instrumental. There's no words. I played, I recorded the entire song from start to finish. It was like four minutes and 16 seconds. <gasps> and it recorded the end, and then it got to the end. It song ended, I go, leave a message. Click, and that was it. You had to listen for over four minutes to this song with no vocals. If you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to leave me a voicemail in two thousand and five, so it's annoying. Yeah, man, I make people this. earn it. It's not life is not given to you; it is earned. Well, you need to listen to this. Listen. Hit it. So, like, all I literally did, solid. all I literally did was like, I thought that was hilarious to me. Was Big good. Daddy was like one of my favorite movies. Yeah, but I, uh, I just recorded it and put it on my so. So good. You know what this reminds me of now that we're talking about songs on voicemails? 
Live action Disney movies. <laughs> hey, well, as, I've only seen two. It's like as really random helpful. as random as this is, uh, it's still better than the first two episodes we did that we put up just so we can make the podcast happen. So if you not could, that bad. don't listen. To, I haven't seen them. We recorded. It's we record. It was over a year ago, wasn't it? When we recorded those, we started the '90s win, and then we didn't do anything with it. And then it was you a long started. Time. You started. You like since then, you've started a YouTube channel and at Retro. You've gotten over almost thirteen thousand followers on Instagram since then. And 13, you just got on Instagram a month ago. Thirteen thousand nerds, bro. All of us. Thirteen thousand heroes. Here, bros. Am I right? In the past. Living in the past, bro. I like that. So since then, we recorded those first two episodes. Please don't listen to them. If you listen to this far, I mean, you're a friend of the show. That's no doubt about it. Um, if you the first two we recorded, I had audio set up, but then like it died or it got hit or something, and so the audio went out like 20 seconds in to like the two episodes we recorded, and it's recorded on a GoPro on the front of my Prius in the while we're driving through the rain. Yeah, it didn't sound the good. intro of the very first episode. I was backing up and my car is going beep 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 beep. Didn't notice at all. It sounds terrible. I just cut it. So there's no intro to the first episode. Didn't we try to go game hunting too? Didn't yes, we, like we have all that footage and I, I didn't. We did. We went to like a bunch of thrift stores and like nothing. We found nothing. No, we did found something. What? I found that Nintendo 64 uh, motion thing where you literally plug it into your N64. It's like basically like a Wii, bro, a Wii remote, but for the N64, and you you put it uh, into the way where the Rumble Pack goes, and then you can move you move like the whole controller like in Star Fox. I was with you. It's on there. Go look. Unless you deleted it, I, I still know. have it because I went and found that footage whenever yeah, I made those. I have that too. So. It's right there. What is it? How much Keep is talking. it worth? How much is it worth? It's they like, can't see on the I don't care. Not that. No, it's not for them. It's for the video doubling, on YouTube. We're also doubling, doubling up on YouTube, video. boy. What if I ended it right now before you showed them? This. Just kidding. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, called, it's called the Tilt Pack Rumble Motion Sensing Pack. How much is it worth? I don't It's like worth maybe 15 bucks. And you bought it for 16 No. It's 14 I bought it for like $4, maybe. It's not bad. Anyway, yeah, right. I remember that. Well, thank you guys. That's it. That's how we're going to end it. We're going to show something that you can't see on the podcast. Um, thank you guys for tuning in for the first real... 90s well, win hey, podcast. Also, if this this is doubling, we're doing video too. Yeah, man. Um, so Tyler is a guest. If we're putting this on my channel, mm -hmm. where can they find you? Uh, they can find me. I've got three YouTube channels. So the one that I'm most active on is Tarver Academy. So search Tarver Academy. I've got a regular one called Tyler Tarver. Why do you have so many? Uh, because I didn't want to clutter up my main channel back in 2008 with all my math videos. And Whoa, so pioneer. I put them on a second one. 2008? Yeah, well, I was on a 2007. Internet was around? Yeah, they just invented it. Jeff yeah. from Google. Jeff Google, you've heard of him. He invented the internet, and so I uploaded it on there. Anyways, um, and so I created another one, and then now my education was the only one people care about. So that's what it is. Just and then I have a third one. The one that I guess you guys would probably care about is Tarver Gaming. T-A-R-V-E-R, V is -E -E in Vampire. Um, or is Victor Crumb, if you will, from mm -hmm. Harry Potter. Um, Tarver Gaming, my son and I have a gaming channel. And check so, it out. Yeah, if you want to, check it out. Rick, working And I'm at Tyler Tarver on Instagram if you want to holler at your boy. How about you, Rick? Retro Rick. Uh, retro underscore underscore Yeah, Rick you went with the double underscore. Instagram. I had to because... You didn't have to. You could have gone with... You were Retro Dot Rick at first, and then you changed it. No, I never got Retro Dot Rick. It was like Retro... The official dot real retro Rick. It was some. No, like, you were a lot. I thought you were cleaner on it before you went retro under under Rick. Well, but that was my O P I N O. And anyway, yeah, retro underscore underscore Rick, and then retro Rick on Facebook, retro Rick so on good. Twitter. I don't. Just, you dumb. can just. I don't know. I don't like Twitter. But I don't whatever. think you have to do tags anymore. I think it's just like, hey, search this. Like if you search retro Rick, yeah, on any up. social yeah, media, yeah, you don't have you'll be do, the main one. You don't have to. Yeah, if you no. if you do retro, Rick, it's yeah. the first one. That pops if you up. search Tyler Tarver, you'll find me. Like mm. it's it's the internet's better now than it used to be. I tell you what, I have trouble with is whenever someone's telling me a website and they start with, okay, now go to www dot. Like I'm like, just save me those four seconds. I don't need that. Like you're not dialing in to a VPN like you don't you can just t tell me the website mm -hmm. jeff.com jeffgoogle.com <laughs> see you guys oh okay that's a real okay well bye